So let's take a look at connecting Companion to Google Sheets. Go to Companion and go to the connections page, add a connection and you can add in Google Sheets. Then in this information section, go to the Google Cloud Console where the API and services tab, you'll see enable APIs and servers and turn on the Google Sheets API. Once you've done that, come back to this page, click on this second link here, create some credentials, create the OAuth client ID, and then choose web application as the type and give it a custom name. I've called mine your Google Sheets connection. And then further down the page, authorize redirect URIs. Use something like localhost semicolon 8001, hit create, and it will generate a client ID and a client secret, which you can click to copy on the side there. Come back to companion and paste that into the client ID and client secret area. Also put in the same redirect URI. Turn on reference spreadsheets by index instead of ID and then hit save. Once you've hit save, you may need to click back on Google Sheets and come back to this third link here to trigger the Google Sheets authentication process. This is gonna open up a new window and you'll have to choose one of your Google accounts, choose the account that you have set up the API with and it'll say Google hasn't verified this app and you can continue on. Do you wanna confirm it? Yes, we know this is the app that we set up, so that's okay. And then we'll bring you to this page, which at first glance is where a lot of people get lost because there's not really any feedback here. It just looks like it's been an error. But what you're looking for is to copy this code that we've selected in here. So everything after code equals, so the, the four slash all the way through to the bit before and scope. If you select that, copy that, come back to companion and in the OAuth code field here, paste that in and hit save. And now once you've done that, you'll see this little green check icon here. And that will let you know that you have successfully connected Companion with Google Sheets. Now we can go into the same Google account for Google Spreadsheets and just create any spreadsheet that you like. You don't even have to change permissions, but just copy the index ID of that spreadsheet, which is everything after spreadsheet slash D slash. So this is the one X all the way through to a PQ. So the bit before slash edit, copy that, come back to Google Sheets in um, Companion, paste that into the spreadsheet IDs space separated area there and hit save again. Just a note here that because we turned on reference by index rather than ID, it means that the module is gonna operate with indexes like zero, one, two, three for each of the spreadsheets. So this first spreadsheet is going to be index zero. That's the one that I'm using for all of my profiles. But if you had a second spreadsheet that you wanted to add in, you would just add a space and then paste in the next one of that um, spreadsheet ID. And then that would be referenced in Companion as um, index one, and then you could do index two, three, so on, if you have more. If you're using my profile, this is where you can now come to this page here that you've imported. And if you shift click reset here, it's gonna generate um, variables and it's also gonna generate the um, template sheets within Google Sheets. So you'll once you click that button, if you went back to your spreadsheet, you would see down the bottom, it's created next list and log one, list one and log one. And then you will have this kind of um, layout in either a web browser or the stream deck that we were talking about before so that you can go through and log all of your data from Companion into Google Sheets. Mm -hmm.